Happy Tuesday, you lovely lot. It is Tuesday, the 20, 24th, 24th, 24th of October, and you're joining us for another trip to Disney World. Yep, it is uh, 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 8.15, and uh, we're taking a later flight out of um, Heathrow to, not Orlando, to Tampa, and it's weird, we've not taken the later flight before and it is all nice and chilled. Um, if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome aboard, I'm Keith, and we are uh, me, Keith, my wife Tracy, and our two kind of grown up children, Luke and Daisy. So yeah, if you fancy giving us a little thumbs up and a subscribe, that would be appreciated. Um, so yeah, this trip, um, we've got six nights on Pop Century, then we've got five nights on the Disney Wish and then back to Saratoga Springs for five nights. Um, Pop Century, we've recently re-fallen in love with. Um, just everything about it is spot on. Cruise, never done one before. Daisy's done one before, not a Disney one. Um, and everyone's super excited and I'm kind of like, I'm not, I'm just like there. I'm not super excited. I'm not like not looking forward to it. I'm just sort of there. I don't know what to expect. I think in my heart of hearts, I think I'm gonna think it's okay. That's what I think it is. Everyone's gonna be like, no, you're gonna love it. You're gonna wanna book another trip straight afterwards. But I think, if someone says, what do you think about it? I'm gonna be like, yeah, it was all right. Um, and then Saratoga Springs, which is one of the first, um, one of the first Disney resorts we stayed on on property. Pop Century was the first one back in the day. But then we did, uh, we took my sister and went with some, with some friends and stayed on Saratoga. And we have absolutely loved that resort. Our main sort of favorite resort is Old Key West. And, um, and the reason we didn't stay at Saratoga is because the accommodation didn't kind of work for us because Luke and Daisy need a bed each and Saratoga didn't quite <clears throat> provide that at the time. So, uh, but now they've, they've changed. So accommodation wise, Pop Century, we've got two rooms, Luke and Dezo in one room, me and Trace in the other, and then <laughs> on the Wish, we're sharing a room, all four of us. Uh, yeah, I think that footage might be heavily edited. And then at Saratoga, we have got a, uh, a one-bed villa. So it's got a bedroom for me and Trace, it's got like a big pull-down Murphy bed, and it's also got like another smaller bed. So um, they keep saying it is all right for a small adult, uh, Daisy. <laughs> and um, so yeah, we will, uh, it'll be interesting to see what that's like. So it is 20 past eight. Um, I was kind of expecting like a remake of Christmas morning from Home Alone, everybody running around, but it's surprisingly chilled. Um, I'm the world's worst pack, uh, packer. Uh, I take all of my, I don't take all of my clothes, but basically, I X factor my clothes. I put all my t-shirts out, like every, pretty much every single one, and then they go through an elimination process. So I put on the ones that I think are gonna look all right, but they might be a little bit tight. Um, so they don't make it through to the next round. Then obviously the judges, uh, judges houses bit. So I packed all of my clothes other than a few uh, tight kits. And uh, yeah, we kind of feel all right. Um, Oh no, we're not picking Luke up. Luke lives up the road, our son, so he's meeting us here at 20 past 10. I need to head over to um, to Tesco's, to their Bureau de Change, pick up some um, some readies for the trip, uh, just so we've got a bit of folding with us, just in case. And then we're heading over to Heathrow. We've got a short stay parking, so we're gonna drop the car off, then they're gonna take that away and then meet us when we come back. But yeah, really, really excited. And um, if you are if you are a regular viewer, uh, life is really kind of different since we, and if you're not a regular viewer, we used to have quite a, quite a hectic hotel. And this is the first trip ever where we've not been running a business. So when we first started going on holiday with the kids, we were running other businesses. So we were still, they were still running in the background while we we're on holiday. And um, when we had, this is our second hotel, was our second hotel. And then, um, so I'd be on the phone to plumbers, I'd be on the phone to staff. The lead up would be like, ah, oh, we would be like handing over with um, 
re uh, like relief management. But this is the first time where it's just like, there ain't anything going on at home. So I'm really looking forward to that. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. Right, I need to head off, do a few bits and pieces, but we are, we're well on our way. The cats know something's up. Don't you star, but we've got lovely Eleanor and Darcy coming to look after you guys while we're away. So you are gonna be spoiled. We'll find Kylo in a minute. And this is Kylo. You'll be right without us. Guess what happened at Tesco's? Bureau de Change was shut. Oh no, have to get it at the airport then. Have to get it at the airport. Yeah. However, guess what? Someone commented on my top. Ooh, my 17 again outfit. Basically, I was in TK Maxx. <laughs> so careful. Anyway, I was in TK Maxx and I thought, oh, I love this shirt, right? And then I kept coming back like this happened over a couple of weeks and then I went one week and it wasn't there and I was just like, oh, I really should have got that shirt. <laughs> right, so I bought this shirt. I'm 50. <laughs> in my head, I am not 50. And then, bought these trendy young people's jeans, right? Yeah? And then, fresh kicks! I'm like... Zac Efron, I'm, when he, it's like an explosion in an Ed Hardy factory. Yeah, so, school, so. so I'm gonna be looking, on holiday, I'm gonna be breaking out, looking for Von Dutch, Ed Hardy, <laughs> all that all that sort of stuff. I might go for some bling and some sort of bejeweled baseball cap. Anyway, so... I, I was a bit conscious about it, but I really like it, and I thought, I'm on holiday, who cares? But I had to go to our local Tesco's and a few people, and I go in there a lot because of buying stuff through the business. Anyway, I've gone to buy Daisy her posh shampoo, and um, and as I've gone past, there was a, an older couple, and um, and she was the lady was just sort of, didn't realise I was there because I'm sort of stealth ninja in, uh, in Tesco's, and I've gone to... A scooch behind and she oh she goes sorry and I said, that's all right and she goes oh I like your top and I'm like thanks very much <laughs> so yeah winning so on this trip we've got a couple of like nice obviously it's nice we're very lucky to be going back again but we we've got some extra bits and pieces uh, done uh, booked as well so because we are we're actually there for the Halloween Christmas crossover. Which is really nice. So October is one of our favourite. It's always nice. I don't care when I go. I love it. But October is a really good time for us. Um, but we have got Luke and I are going to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal, and that's the only time um, we'll be going on to Universal this trip. And we've got express passes um, because we thought we're only going for one night, and it's just two of us. So we're going to go and do that. <clears throat> and on that same night, Tracy and Dezo are doing Mickey's Not So Scary, which which I'm kind of a, kind of jealous about, really. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so that, that's gonna be cool. We have also got um, a dessert party booked as well. When we went <clears throat> last time, um, the fireworks at Magic Kingdom, it was a bit, a bit stressful. There were lots of people and we were rushing to get there and it was just like, not as magical as I would have liked. And, um, and the fireworks are so awesome, and we just thought, as a little treat, we'll, we'll book the dessert party. Uh, Tracy won't tell me how much it is, but I think it's double dear. Um, but turn up, all the pudding you want, and then um, you get to a really cracking view of the uh, fireworks. So I'm really, really excited about that. But if I'm being really honest, I think the most, the thing that I'm excited about the most is just hanging like as a squad, because Luke's really busy, so his, uh, Luke, if you're new to the channel, uh, Luke races cars and sells cars, <laughs> so they're not connected. He doesn't turn up at work and race, races the stock, so, and he's loving his job, but the racing is demanding and expensive, and his job, is, you know, works weekends, evenings, all sorts. Daisy works at a, an incredible, uh, food venue like super high end and um and is operating like right up there and learning so much because it's just like we, we're all operating up here so you have to do that too and she's just um she's just really come on 
she's on a wine course she's learning all about wines and stuff and um so daisy works sort of four days a week but she works like crazy shifts so she doesn't get home till like two or three o'clock in the morning um on the days that she's working luke and daisy are really really close and as a family we're really lucky to be really close as well <clears throat> so i'm just looking forward to just catching up with them me and tracy are together all the time like we're in, in, in and out of each other's pockets and have been for years we work together and obviously married and stuff um but i'm really looking forward to seeing luke and daisy hanging out and just catching up with the kids so yeah that's what i'm looking after looking forward to the most um i'm kind of on top of stuff i'm going to put some stuff in the bin i've lost my headphones i'm going to try and be good with my fitness um on holiday since selling the business i have been keeping up with my pelotons in the morning so i'm going to be trying to do a little bit of running but i've lost my running headphones and had them yesterday don't know where they've gone um so yeah on top of stuff yeah all good hello hello it's holiday day it's holiday day uh we're like ready it feels weird because it's always me and you ready first though isn't it best ones yeah. uh, right so you've been busy. I've been busy how are you feeling about this holiday um, very excited it's only just sort of sunk in like like the last week it's so busy because you and luke have been busy adulting yeah so i think this is like the first holiday we've had where you and luke will both need a proper break mm -hmm. because you are out in the big wide world yeah nice. so i'm ready for a bit of an escapism <laughs> what are you looking forward to food food oh yeah you've... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oops go on yeah, I'm not vegetarian anymore, so I'm excited to eat some chicken nuggets. Yes! Yeah. Nice. Uh, and Disney Cruise, you've done a cruise before. Yeah. I'm really excited for a Disney Cruise. I think you're going to love it, and I know you don't think you are, but I think you're just nervous because you don't know what to expect. I'm not nervous. I can read you like a book. <laughs> and <laughs> Saratoga Springs. Oh, can you remember saying that before? Not really. I can remember like bits, but not like, I don't remember like the rooms or anything or... Obviously the rooms are all new, but I don't remember much. I hope we get, hello, <laughs> I hope we get one close to Disney Springs where we can walk. That'd be good. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to Moana's walkthrough. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's the, like, water jerk, journey called, of water. It's called meandering with Moana. Oh, I like that. Yeah, mooching with Moana. <laughs> <laughs> they missed a trick, didn't they? They should have called it that. <laughs> uh, right, Luke's on his way. Trace, yes. come here, welcome to the vlog. How are, you, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good now. Now I'm packed. It was a bit of a mission to get packed, I'm not going to lie. But, um... I love the way that you can uh, stress the whole house out just from this room at the top of the house. Just, we can just feel you your... You just felt my anger. <laughs> <laughs> I think too much time. You know, I thought having lots of time was going to be better. As it turned out, it wasn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was even more stressful because I just couldn't get focused. I just couldn't get my head around it. Look, it's not as stressful as how it normally is. We've got no oh, management team no. to sort out. To be at this point now and just be ready without having to rush is really, really nice. Nice. What are you looking forward to? I am looking forward, I'm looking forward to the cruise. Um, I'm looking forward to the, we're doing the um, fireworks my brain isn't working this morning. The dessert the party. The dessert party, that's the one, yeah, the dessert party. I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, it's just, just being back there, being back in the magic. I'm looking forward to seeing what Saratoga's like after how many years? 14 years? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it'd be lovely to stay there again. So there's just so much that I'm looking forward to, and it's just so lovely that we've got the full two weeks with all four of us. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. going to be great. Um, a regular theme for our trips is waiting for Luke, uh, also known as, hi, it's me, always on time Luke, who is never on time. It is 21 minutes past 10. Luke has just phoned mum to uh, do a last minute check of everything that he needs and is on his way. Daisy's having a lint roller crisis. Daisy, have you lint rolled? I'm going to shave the cats. <laughs> <laughs> we should just, the hair gets yeah, everywhere. Tracy, we've had last minute panic. We had last minute panic. There was something that they sent us to the cruise that I knew I'd put somewhere safe and couldn't find. So after turning everything upside down, it was in a very safe cubby hole that I obviously thought was a good place to put it, but totally forgot. So we've been all over the office floor <laughs> <laughs> looking through stuff. Yeah, <sighs> Three times, but we found it. Cool, right. 
Luke's on his way and uh, wagons roll. Hi. Are we gonna have to go back to like Luke time? What do you mean? You know. I was ready at 10.20. Right. Which was the original agreement. Okay. That was the time I left the house. Because <laughs> originally you were supposed to get to my house for that time. So, you know. Right, we made it through, car fitted. Uh, we've got the meet and greet parking for uh, while we're here. And it's really easy. I just followed the, followed the signs. Went into like this little bay, it took like a picture of the car, and then you put your ticket in, and then you just come to the meet and greet bit. Easy peasy. Who's excited? Daisy, are you excited? I'm very excited. Luke. <coughs> really excited. You need this holiday, don't you? Really you've been doing you've been doing big job. I've been big job. I've been doing big jobs. <laughs> <laughs> are you excited, Trace? I'm very excited. Right, let's get there. All drops off, pick the paperwork up. Very nice people. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Welcome to Jeers Ears. <laughs> What is it, like a robot cleaner? Yeah. I need one of these at okay. home. And, you know, and in your house, I didn't even know that she was behind me. I know. And just a U-turn. Well, that's very cool. Robot cleaner. Thoughts. Love it. It's brilliant, isn't it? I feel like I'm living in the future. This is like that scene from um, Footloose with the tractors. Who's going to pull out first? Exactly like this scene. Who's going to pull out first? Ooh. <gasps> Johnny Five. It's from Short Circuit. It's so cool. Pull through security. I love this bit. I love it how it smells. I love the excitement. Oh, it smells so good. Uh, you need sunglasses. Oh, tough. We're with the Penn Halligans, which is my favourite. It is super expensive. Oh, who am I? I am an adventurous, <laughs> fun lover. But Luke's doing his flavour profiling. Not flavour, what is it? Scent profiling. Yeah, sure, why not? Road trip. <laughs> like, all, all joking aside, Luke's doing his fl uh, scent profiling here. He's answered them all like, uh, all how he wanted to and he's gonna he's gonna be able to tell uh, push that yeah. so he's put all his he's answered all the questions and then he'll be able to tell if he likes what it smells like we've fallen at the last hurdle won't let you get past the last stage Right, we're going to get lunch at the curator. What's really cool is, apart from Luke's big head, <laughs> it tells you how quickly food is leaving the kitchen. Uh, if you're on a schedule, like, you know, obviously, well, everyone's on a schedule. You're in departures. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Right, we're in the curator. Menu looks great. Everybody's sniffing each other's arms. Can <laughs> you explain that? It's because we've been trying on perfume, not just for... Trying on perfume, perfume, is that, yeah. You bought some? We're all a bit weird. Yeah, it is a bit weird. Perfume, yeah. Nice. Right, food's come out. Happy with this? We got some, yeah, yeah. So we got some chicken tenders, <laughs> nachos, nachos, and what is it? I don't know, I can't remember. Yorkshire pudding wrap. Yeah. Thoughts on your meal? All right. All right. Yeah. Nachos. Nachos, we're really good. Daisy, what do you think? Crazy. Yeah, it's right actually for us. Yeah. I thought it was really, really good. Nachos were awesome. Right, gate's been called. Huh? I wish we'd have got a lounge. Yeah, no, I, I agree. <laughs> I didn't enjoy that as much. No. I, yeah. I think the time of day changes it. You know, it's a little bit. I don't know. I wish we. I wish we'd have got a lounge. I think yeah. Should. Yeah. It was a bit hectic in there. There we go, it's got to be the one, Queen of the Skies. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thumbnail if you want it, a little bit of clickbait. 
Have you seen what the kids are watching? And they're watching it both. They've timed their screens. <laughs> Tracy's got the 3D printed cutlery. <laughs> I've gone for the butternut squash pasta. You've gone for the uh, being well looked after, the cabin group. Brilliant. Okay. Smells nice. Creamy. Nice. Best ride of the holiday, are you ready? Yeah, we, we should have already got a fast pass, we didn't have to wait. I think we sort of said nine and a half hours to get it. <laughs> it's a bit of a wait. Uh, yeah, but, but we're here now, so hopefully it's worth the wait. And, yeah. <laughs> and Tampa has a great big flamingo. Daisy, thoughts on the later flight? <laughs> thoughts on the later flight? I loved it, mate. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel at my peak. <laughs> I definitely think we, we normally feel a little bit better during and after an earlier flight. But hey, we're here now. How's business? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I won the first joke of the holiday. <laughs> Keep up. Right, so we haven't got a rental car or a transfer, so we get an Uber and we are collecting it from Red161. And fingers crossed, all good so far. They literally took two minutes um, and we got a car on his way and it looks like it's going to be $130. Hey! Nice! Yeah! Hey. 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 Oh! <laughs> Yeah. Right, check in time. I love this lobby. It's quiet this time, it's not very busy. I know, straight in. Magic band, let's have a look. Welcome, I'm on holiday now. Daisy, you got your magic band on. Good job, Traceo. Nice. Lovely service from Rebecca, all checked in, easy peasy, no waiting. And we did ask for adjoining rooms, and we've got adjoining rooms. I don't feel as tired now. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. I'm ready. Thank you, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. So the Uber took an hour and 15 minutes very nice driver i think we, i think he picked up on our vibe that we just wanted to like <laughs> chill <laughs> chill um and yeah an hour and 15 and i think 130 dollars for that is pretty reasonable because he's got to drive all the way back now as well um super easy to do and it took like seven or eight minutes for him to arrive so that was super easy and um we'll just pre-book that on the way back you know, but that's miles away yet. Yeah. The weather's nice, perfect. Pleasant. Considering it's like late here. Yeah. Pleasant weather. Love it. Right, so this is what your room's gonna look like. The kids are just through there, but this is a Murphy bed, which just pulls down. We've got one of these little electric things. We've never had one of those before. I'm not sure what that does. Um, we got a fridge. We've got a coffee machine. 
nice big telly storage I think safe in there extra pillows nice big bed lovely Mickey's on the wall and where's my lights oh, that's a bit that's a bit jarring oi oi and um, you know ironing board more cupboards and here at Pop Century, and I think most of the resorts now, housekeeping is every, or should I say mousekeeping, is every other day. Um, so when we arrived at Tampa, we, we, we don't get up. Like when the plane lands, we do, we, we're the people that sit and wait for everyone to get off and then we just, you know, make our own way down. Uh, security was nice, we were at the back, security was nice um, and you know a little bit of a queue but nothing too drastic, really like Tampa as an airport. I like it, as, oh yeah it is nice as an airport and I think when we did it before we arrived earlier so you know it didn't seem such a mission to get here from there, I think just because it's been a long travel day anyway it would have been nicer to have got a bit of an <laughs> airport a bit closer but yeah. You know. That's just circumstantial because the flight times. Yeah, and um, it will be interesting to see how that later flight um, reflects in how we feel over the next day or two because ordinarily we would be waking up at like three or four o'clock in the morning ready to go. However, I've taken my watch off, but in real money, so back in the UK, it is now whoa, 25 to 5 in the morning. <laughs> And what time is it here in America? It is half eleven. Um, we got up at like I got up at six this morning, so I've been up for nearly twenty four hours. Yeah, so that was a mission. Um, yeah, that was a really that was a, a a big travel day. Anyway, we are off to Epcot tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, we're gonna play it by. We're not gonna rush. Not getting up silly early. But thank you so much for following along with us. So stay safe. Be kind. Look after one another. Cheers is.